Hi everyone. Uh, I'm very excited to bring you this multimeter. But this multimeter, there is one special thing about this uh, that I'm going to uh, tell you about. Now there are many videos about this multimeter. This is Aneng on YouTube, and uh, some of them they are. Uh, really in-depth review about this so I'm not going through all the details the only thing that I'm going to add to this review is about the features that they have added to this because the one the very latest one that you can find on the YouTube is an ink AN8008 but this one is AN8009 and there are several features added and one of the very good reviews on the uh, YouTube about this done by EEV blog which um, he really gone through the depth of this multimeter and um, he mentions several things that was missing from this multimeter and it was a deal breaker as he put it and they put it right and they have added all of those uh, feature into this as much as they could because this is relatively is very a small multimeter in comparison to my hand I, I don't have a very large hand so it's very tiny this multimeter so this multimeter came in a carry pouch like this and because it's black let me just turn on this light is going to interfere with the focusing of the camera so I took it out and uh, show, show you right now it has a pocket here for the multimeter and nothing here and just two elastic bands in the center to secure your stuff in there but uh, it's, it's just a very cheap you know carrier uh, carrier pouch or carry pouch so we put this aside and there's nothing special about this it has a you know uh, uh, some sort of handle that you can carry this so <coughs> that's it uh, and I turn off this light now to go back to the natural light so it came with a lid that is uh, as before there are many uh, reviews about this and you know uh, and all of them they are the same but the quality of the lids they are not bad they are not rigid but yes, you can see it had remained its folded shape but it's not really that bad uh, I don't think I'm gonna to use this I'm going to buy my own but it's better than nothing and also it came with another accessories this is another um, multimeter leads that they are coming with uh, several attachments and that you can screw on top of the leads let me show you the attachments we have four crocodile uh, or alligator clips and some extras that, uh, there are many videos about this on the internet as well so I'm not going to talk about this too much but in this version we have something new and this one is the temperature lead that um, it was missing on the uh, previous version of this which is 8008 
I demonstrate that for you later. And here we have the manual is more or less the same as before. The specifications. I just hold it for you. If you want, you can pause and have a look. Let me just focus this. Yeah. More or less is the same. And the usage is also the same as before. So we put this aside now. So we talk about this. Everyone knows that uh, this takes two AAA batteries, which is very good. There are some pros, some cons, in my opinion. It's very slippery when you want to turn it on with one hand. It's a little bit difficult. The angling of this is really flimsy that you, you have to struggle to hold this in position you know it you know we can uh, benefit from some sort of gripping or you know uh, some more uh, contact at the back of the end of here maybe and here and some rubber legs for this to avoid being so flimsy I peeled off the screen protector uh, because it wasn't doing this any justice so let's let's talk about this I found the viewing angle of this when you are looking at an angle is fantastic but when you are looking at it straight uh, on the camera is okay but here is is really faint to me and uh, but it's large and you can see everything uh, clearly so several things that this one has that the other one didn't first it has the temperature gauge which is this lead for when you select the temperature range now we are in temperature as we connect this, it has a uh, note of uh, positive and negative on this, and positive should be in the red, and the negative should be in the common. When you put it there, it's automatically is going to show you the temperature of the room, and as you touch it, there you can see the temperature rises. This is one uh, new feature that they have added to this. And the second feature that is very helpful, I think, is the near current and voltage detection, which is this option. When you take it to that part, it says when you uh, um, take this near to electrical cable or on in the wall or wherever is going to beep and as the current is getting higher the beep is going to go faster so I can demonstrate to you by bringing a cable to here that is live now and as you take this close to the cable you can hear you can hear the and as the um, current is getting higher is beeping faster and 
there are some uh, uh, indications that you can see I think this is a very useful uh, feature that they have added and for those who are familiar with the uh, 8008 you you know that this was the digital out and that was I don't I don't think anyone would use those feet that feature uh, but this one is much better than the other ones and in to compare to compare this one to the uh, Eight 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 zero zero eight. I uh, took a uh, still shot of that for you to just compare the controls of this. And as you see here, that we have temperature. Here we don't have any temperature sign. And in here, for the uh, capacitors and diet and ohms you have added 100 milli ohm and uh, the other uh, the rest of them I, I think they are the same and just added this feature and temperature gauge so uh, I hope this was useful this picture that I took from the 8008 and you see this feature now turned to this feature and I think this is much much uh, useful than that feature so we are going to put this aside and we talk about this multimeter. I think. Uh, oh, let me just turn this off. Uh, I'm not going to test anything with this. I just wanted to show you this that uh, the new version of their link um, it came out, and uh, um, I wanted to show you the new features of this. And one feature that uh, in uh, other videos says that is missing is the selector in the capacitance uh, or capacitor measurement which they said that it didn't have the select button and they couldn't select and as you see if you hold it a little bit longer uh, it's going to select and the select now turn to this part and as the top shows, you can see that you can select between the uh, functions. And uh, I think the backlight is really good. And the rest of it, the beeper is nice and loud. Uh, is a really good one for 19 pounds and uh, the shipping uh, just took uh, under 20 days and to be exact it was uh, 15 days uh, 18 days yes 18 days and the price was 19 pounds and you cannot find this anywhere but China and those uh, uh, agents of China like, like AliExpress and so on. So I fully recommend this Anang AN 8009 which is the final version and it comes with the orange and the red casing and I uh, end my video here, 
just very excited to use this in the future and see how it goes and I may be uh, giving you the final uh, review about this but for the time being it's fantastic and I recommend this to anyone who is working with low voltage not high voltage you know, low voltage something like around the house and so on is very capable machine so until my next video Take care of yourself and each other.